Meg Records, the Meg Record Keeping Institute. Object number 97, the Everything Machine. Warning, unauthorized viewing of this document is prohibited by the Meg. Anyone found to have viewed this document without explicit permission will be dealt with accordingly. Object number 97, the Everything Machine. Image caption, a picture of a very specific component of the Everything Machine. The Everything Machine is the only stolen piece of machinery from level 522. It is a highly complicated device designed to complete any task. Description, the Everything Machine is currently largely misunderstood in its nature and, as of now, is undergoing heavy research in order to tap into its abilities, in benefiting the Meg. The Everything Machine is currently hypothesized to be capable of virtually anything within the backrooms, and can be used to create or destroy any matter. However, any matter which is created or destroyed will be transmuted to a different medium, often inheriting capabilities similar to the medium taken from. The matter itself collapses in an unidentified way, breaking multiple laws of energy and thermodynamics. It is theorized that complete annihilation occurs, though this is unconfirmed. The Everything Machine has multiple connections to Backroom's robotics, and seems to have been developed by them. The Everything Machine seems to have been built with the purpose of a potential escape to the Backrooms, However, due to it being marked as a prototype, it is currently incapable of fulfilling this purpose. Currently, experiments are being run in order to test the limits of the Everything Machine. The Everything Machine is still misunderstood, so this process is still undergoing its early phases. The Everything Machine itself resembles a circular device, made up of its component quote-unquote hex cubes. Each hex cube stores data according to what its purpose is programmed to be, which can be virtually anything. Because of this, it is theoretically possible to tear a hole into reality to leave the back rooms. However, due to the complexity of the programming within the Everything Machine, this is currently considered beyond the scope of possibilities. For now, the Everything Machine stores data, and occasionally is used to run tests involving the Everything Machine. The Everything Machine's programming is largely misunderstood, and, for this reason, it should only be handled by individuals who can understand the basics of programming within the Everything Machine. A sample of code within the Everything Machine is highly dangerous, and can cause viruses to suddenly form within any device. It is impossible to photograph the code, as code from the Everything Machine responds to scanning technoware, and adapts to them accordingly. The Everything Machine is believed to run on a mix of paratechnology and occult influences, alongside the Backroom's influence itself. Backroom's robotics appears to have major influence in the creation of the Everything Machine, ranging from the discovery of the Everything Machine to the refinement of the Everything Machine, all the way to the near finishing of the Everything Machine. The CEO of Backrooms Robotics, Yellow, appears to be putting forth full efforts and attempts to locate the Everything Machine, ranging from full search teams to developing searching technology in attempts to locate the Everything Machine. Due to the vague intentions of Backrooms Robotics, Alongside their misguided morals and their potential connections to the cartographers, efforts have been put forth in order to mitigate Backrooms Robotics from locating the Everything Machine. Discovery The Everything Machine was discovered during a meeting with Yellow, head of Backrooms Robotics. In a second look attempt, inspections were made and confirmed that the Everything Machine is highly dangerous, so a raid attempt was organized under the guise that it came from the Splinter. Because of this process, the Everything Machine is now in the hands of the Meg. Uses of the Everything Machine Currently, the Everything Machine appears to be capable of many unique processes, ranging from killing entities, to discovery of new levels, to formation of materials and supplies. 
For this reason, the programmers of the Everything Machine have put forth efforts to pull off different tests with the Everything Machine. The logs for these tests are as follows. The Everything Machine. Test Logs. Test Log E99-TEM. Destruction. Test Log Begin Log Time. 9.29 AM. Testing Objects. The Everything Machine. The Game Master of Level 389. Researcher Conducting Test. Researcher Aether. Head of the Everything Machine Programming. Test Log Survey. This test was conducted in order to attempt the destruction of the Game Master. The following test took place on level 0. Begin Log. Researcher Aether. Initiating the programming. The Everything Machine is now active. Stand back. The current result is unknown. The Everything Machine begins to vibrate, and one of its hex cubes begins to vibrate violently. After this point, the hex cube emerges from the Everything Machine and proceeds to vibrate in the air whilst shaking. Researcher Aether. Okay, everyone, stay calm. The Everything Machine is about to activate. The Everything Machine's hex cubes begin to grow a sharp incisor and proceeds to cut a hole in reality. From there, level 389 is visible. Researcher Aether. The Everything Machine did it! Entity 99 is... The Hex Cube proceeds to return to its dormant state within the Everything Machine. The entire machine ceases to vibrate. The Everything Machine enters its dormant state. Researcher Aether. Oh god damn it! End log. After this point, Assistant Researcher Michael proceeds to turn off the audio log recorder. It is presumed that due to the high output given caused by the energy required to open a new entryway to level 389, the Everything Machine exhausted its systems, and then proceeded to go into a dormant state in order to recover energy. For a period of one week following this event, the Everything Machine was only able to receive code, and was incapable of carrying out commands. Test Log E99-TEM Destruction-2 Test Begin Log Time 4.26 AM Testing Objects The Everything Machine The Game Master of Level 389 Researcher Conducting Test Researcher Azzy Explorer and Field Specialist for the Everything Machine Test Log Summary this was a follow-up log performed in attempt to destroy the Game Master. The following test was conducted on level 389. Begin log. Researcher proceeds to take a hex cube out from the Everything Machine before entering the level 389 rift, already coded with the explicit code to destroy the Game Master. Researcher Azzy. Hello? Entity 99. Ooh, has a new guest come to play? Researcher Azzy. Not quite. I'm here to destroy you. Entity 99. That is so... <laughs> you jest. I must say. Researcher Azzy. Initiate procedure destroy. Entity 99. You can put that toy away. It's worthless to you now. Researcher Azzy. Wait, what? Entity 99. You don't wish to play, Researcher Azzy. No, just get the hell away from me. Entity 99. Now, that's no way to- Hey, where are you going? End log. After this point, Researcher Azzy drops the audio recorder and manages to escape through the rift created by the Everything Machine. The rift closes after this point, which appears to be the Game Master's doing. The hex cube from the Everything Machine, which was deactivated, was inserted back into the Everything Machine, and appears to have been fully restored by the Everything Machine. Test log FTRMS-TEM Exit Test begin log time 7.34pm Testing objects The Everything Machine Researcher Mills Researcher conducting test None Test Log Summary This test was an unauthorized test which was undergone by Researcher Mills, head of cover-up for the Everything Machine. The test appears to have been an attempt to access the front rooms. Any information on the whereabouts of Researcher Mills should be reported immediately. Begin Log 
Researcher Mills, I have decided I'm done here. I'm leaving now, and this machine will let me... The everything machine begins to vibrate, and a single hex cube can be heard vibrating within the insides of the everything machine, until it can be heard shooting out and shaking violently. Researcher Mills. Goodbye everyone, it was a good run. The hex cube from the everything machine can be heard vibrating within the air very violently, and then can be heard cracking. Researcher Mills. Good but- the hex cube shatters, alongside a large tearing sound. Researcher Mills can be heard screaming violently. End log. The audio logger for this recording was found unharmed, alongside the nearby area. The only noticeable difference between the environment before and after this event was a few blood stains, which matched up with Researcher Mills' DNA. The hex cube itself was severely damaged, but was repaired by the everything machine. Link to Related Tale Meg Records The Meg Record Keeping Institute Development of the Everything Machine The following files were intercepted from Backrooms Robotics, and all appear to have relation to the Everything Machine. This file is only to be seen with authority to view the file. From Amelia Vane To Stretch Subject None 5 slash 13 slash 2021. You know as well as I do that I have no reason to send you these things, yet I do. Why is that? I'm afraid that is none of your business. As of now, please refrain from making further contact with me. I will be out of touch. We both know what'll happen if they find out. With rather cold regards, Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. Project Progress. Project Name, TEM-1, Project Item, The Everything Machine, 9-17-2015, Origin, Room 147-CE, Next to the Power Cores, Updates, Currently Residing Within Storage Container High Priority A-C, Project TEM-1 is undergoing as expected, and is running smoothly. Testing period will begin shortly. As of now, TEM-1 is incredibly fragile, and should be treated as such. Currently in need of fire salt, mana, and the oracle. May need to get some ant canners. Currently missing one hex cube. Will have to make one manually. Current needed materials for hex cube. Spire steel, molten iron, basic steel. Expect inspection period to be on 1 slash 20 slash 2016. Discovery. Found in a very hidden sector of Alpha Section B, originally thought to have been cleared out. Now being searched for more instances of machinery of this level. Filled largely with many unidentified materials. Needing very little work to be done to be fully assembled. Expected results. TEM-1 is expected to be capable of fundamentally anything, including a potential escape to the backrooms themselves. TEM-1 has many different sections. However, most of the project is complete. Requesting materials to develop prototype TEM-1. From Yellow to Amelia Vane. Subject. Reply to Project Progress 9-18-2020. Very well. The progress is looking good. You can expect all supplies to be delivered by the end of November. Mana may be a small issue. We will look into getting that with Project Mana. In the meantime, I will be reserving a spot in the inspection period for TEM-1, and expect the machine to be inspected on 1-2-2020. Signed, Yellow. From Amelia Vane, to Yellow. Subject, reply to reply to Project Progress, 9-18-2020. Very well then, I will adjust the plans accordingly. Signed, Amelia, Head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From Amelia Vane, to Yellow, Subject, The Oracle, 11-28-2020. As of now, Project TEM-1 is going smoothly. However, in order to power the Everything Core, we will require at least 10 milligrams of the Oracle in order to continue working smoothly. 
Furthermore, we have yet to receive any mana from storage. They claim it isn't shipped in. Is this true? Signed, Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From Yellow, to Amelia Vane, subject, reply to the Oracle. 11 slash 28 slash 2020. We would like to see a test log before sending you any samples of the Oracle. In order to ensure protect production is going smoothly, we are currently somewhat short of the Oracle and wish to only devote it to projects which will succeed. Signed, Yellow. From Amelia Vane, to Yellow. Subject, reply to reply to the Oracle. 11 slash 29 slash 2020. Very well, testing is underway. Signed, Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From Amelia Vane, to Yellow. Subject, reply to reply to reply to the Oracle. 12 slash 22 slash 2020. One file attached. Hello, there are more. Currently, sample tests have been completed for TEM-1. The results are attached below. If you wish to see more testing, we will do more accordingly. Signed, Amelia, Head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. Project TEM-1 Results Test Attempt to make a standard lab rat. Result TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before releasing a single hex cube. After this, the hex cube creates a standard white lab rat. Test. Attempt to open up an entrance to level 0. Result. TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before stopping vibration, apparently for overheating. Test. Attempt to destroy molecules. Result. TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before completely destroying all atoms within a ham sandwich. There is no trace of the ham sandwich ever existing. From Yellow to Amelia Vane. Subject, reply to reply to reply to reply to the Oracle. 12 slash 25 slash 2020. This project looks like something to invest in. Very well then. The Oracle is being sent. Mana amounts are low, so an approved amount is being sent to you shortly. Signed, Yellow. Project TEM-1B Results Test Attempt to open a hole to level 0 Result TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before releasing a hex cube, then proceeding to create a minor tear in reality. This hole is a direct two-way access to level 0, and is estimated to close within four to six days. From Amelia Vane to Yellow. Subject, Project TEM-1, 12 slash 25 slash 2020. The project is going splendid and currently is approaching a state good for inspection period. Since progress has been so fast, we have decided to rename TEM-1 to prototype TEM-1. Signed, Amelia. Head of Backrooms Robotics, Project TEM-1. From Yellow to Amelia Vane. Subject, Reply to Project TEM-1. Very well then. Decision approved. Continue to work for inspection. Signed, Yellow. From Amelia Vane to Yellow. Subject, Memo 12-25-2020. The gate which led to level 0 has closed. Nothing new. Do you wish for Team TEM-1 to open another one? Um, signed, Amelia, Head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From Yellow to Amelia Vane. Subject, Reply to Memo 12-26-2020. Send test logs of opening holes to the following levels. Level 0, Level 6, Level 4, and Level 9. Signed, Yellow. From Amelia Vane, to Yellow. Subject, Reply to Reply to Memo. 12 slash 31 slash 2020. One file attached. Attached are the files of the test log. Signed, Amelia, Head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. Project TEM-1 Results. Test. 
attempt to open a hole to level zero. Result, TEM-1 shakes for a moment before releasing a hex cube, which created a tear to level zero. Hole is estimated to not close until 2023. Test, attempt to open a hole to level four. Result, TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before releasing a hex cube which vibrates before opening a hole to level four. Hole is estimated to not close until 2041. Test, attempt to open a hole to level six. Result, TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before releasing a hex cube which immediately opens a hole to level six. Hole is estimated to not close until 2022. Security is to stay vigilant as wretches have been exiting through this entry frequently. Test, attempt to open a hole to level nine. Result, TEM-1 appears to vibrate for a moment before releasing a hex cube which immediately opens a hole to level 9.1. Hole is estimated to not close until 2023. Security is to stay vigilant as there have been reports of undocumented entities. From Yellow to Amelia Vane. Subject, reply to reply to reply to memo. 12 slash 31 slash 2020. Test logs look great. Look more into the entrance to level 9.1 and attempt to troubleshoot the error. Signed, Yellow. From Amelia Vane to Yellow. Subject, reply to reply to reply to reply to memo. 1 slash 1 slash 2021. One file attached. For unknown reasoning, testing on the entrance to level 9.1 has been largely uneventful. However, one test log of note has been recorded, done by, by my head assistant. Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics, Project TEM-1. Project TEM-1 results. Test, attempt to create almond water. Result, TEM-1 shakes for a moment before releasing a hex cube which created a full bottle of the Oracle. The Oracle has been moved to top security storage with three armed guards around it at all times on each entryway. From Yellow to Amelia Vane, Subject, Inspection, 1 slash 2 slash 2021. Very well then, coming down for inspection shortly. Signed, Yellow. Inspection Log. Current Quality of Machinery. The machine appears to be in high quality, and has no major qualms within it. TEM-1 is performing all expected roles splendidly, and only appears to go off track around 2% of the time. Current Staff Morale. Staff all appear to be somewhat worn out, but excited due to the prosperity of TEM-1. Filing request for one week break. Note, denied. Currently need all efforts focused on TEM-1. Future plans? Currently no major plans are put in place for TEM-1. However, there have been many prosperities about the potential of an exit to the back rooms. These rumors have been shut down as of now. However, the theory cannot be denied as of yet. From Amelia Vane to Yellow, subject TEM-1, 1 slash 12 slash 2021. I'm afraid I am incapable of locating TEM-1. Did you take it? There is no trace of it anywhere in high priority A-C. Um, signed, Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From Yellow to Amelia Vane, subject, reply to Project TEM-1, 1 slash 12 slash 2021. A memo will be sent out shortly. Signed, Yellow. Security notice to all staff. TEM-1 has been stolen by the Splinter. No contact is to be established with the Splinter for any reason. The suspected reasoning for this thievery is to attack the Meg. If any members of the Splinter are sighted, they are to be terminated immediately. Failure to do so will result in demotion. This is not a joke. If any sighting of TEM-1 is found, report to Yellow immediately. From Amelia Vane to Yellow. Subject, 
reply to reply to TEM-1, 1-15-2022. What is this? What do you mean, stolen? It was here just yesterday. The entire building was locked up. Signed, Amelia, head of Backrooms Robotics Project TEM-1. From, yellow, to, Amelia Vane. Subject, reply to reply to reply to Project TEM-1, 1-15-2020. We are incapable of finding these answers right now. Team recovery is being assembled in an attempt to locate TEM-1. As of now, all efforts on Project TEM-1 are being postponed until TEM-1 can be recovered. Signed, Yellow. These messages appear to pertain to the logs about the Everything Machine. More specifically, the recovery of the Everything Machine. These files are sensitive and should not be shown to Backrooms Robotics under any circumstances.